Join me while I work on the altered puzzle piece for the PT Jig Collab put on by Paper and Twine. Here is this week. There's a look at last week's entry. So I hope you'll join me as we create this ballerina puzzle piece. Here's my note from Ashley from Paper and Twine. She is the one that is putting on this puzzle collab. I have this second piece. I need to work with these colors. So I've chosen this piece of sheet music. And I'm going to create just a little paper weaving. So I'm starting one inch down from the top and just cutting a slit about a half inch. Then I'm going to cut half inch strips of music sheet and weave it in, in and out. If you would like to see a more detailed video on the paper weaving, I'll link in my description um, where I did that on an altered card earlier. Now that I have that all woven and ready to use as the background for this particular puzzle piece, I'm just gluing the piece directly on to the back of my woven sheet music. I'm using an art glitter glue. I'll glue that on, get it stuck down, let that glue dry. Then I'm going to pull out a piece of plywood and stick it on my table and grab my craft knife. And we'll cut around the edges to get nice, clean edges on this piece. And I found that this was the best way. It, I could have gone around with scissors, kind of fussy cut the puzzle piece out, but I just found that this was a, a little faster, a little easier, and that paper came, came away from the edges quite clean. So now I have that all cleaned up and ready to use as my substrate. But... <clears throat> it is a bunch of pieces of paper that are glued onto this puzzle piece, and I want to make sure they're firmly adhered. So I shall just coat with a coat of Mod Podge hard coat to make sure everything stays in place. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry, and while that's drying, I'm just going to sketch out a little ballerina here. And just using a piece of white paper and a pencil sketch, I've kind of marked the top and the bottom of the puzzle piece to define how tall I want her to be. And I just want her little hands in the air and then just a little ballerina pose. Let's get her tutu on. And I use my cell phone to keep myself in frame while I'm working. And I, it keeps going off on me. That's what you see me poking up there at the top. So there, I think, I think we have, you know, a pretty good little outline here. So we'll just place that over some black cardstock. And... Fussy cut out our little ballerina. And I didn't tack this down. I'm just hand holding it. And going around the outside edges. So I think we have her down. But this background feels very stark to me. So I'm going to push it back a little bit with a coat of gesso. Letting that gesso be very transparent. Because I'm going to use that as a substrate for some oxide ink sprays here in a moment. Let that dry. And once that is dry, I have a stencil of a flower. 
that I shall stencil on to the front of this puzzle piece with acrylic paint. So I just have a titanium white acrylic paint. So she will sit over the top of that flower. And I want that flower to remain in the foreground, but not totally obvious, if you will. And I want it to resist the oxide ink sprays. So I'm putting some embossing powder over the top of this acrylic paint while it's still damp. And I will just pull out my heat gun and set that embossing powder. And then when I spray with the oxide sprays, that embossing powder will resist that ink. And I'll have my background muted, but my flower will still stand out. And you can see here I had sprayed it with these three colors of blue. There's three blues here. I think it's a mermaid lagoon and... I, I'm not exactly sure. I'll link it. I'll put it in the description, the three colors that I used. But that, I'm happier with the background that way. And now I think I'm ready to glue down my ballerina. So she'll just sit in front of that flower. And I have stapled a piece of, scrunched together a piece of cheesecloth and stapled it to create her, create her tutu. So I shall glue that into place. And it looks like we have one side that's a little too long, so we'll trim that off. There we go. Kind of want to fray the ends. So there, she's coming together. Now I have that eyelash trim and I just pulled threads from that eyelash trim and laid it down on top of that cheesecloth and I'm going to hold that all together with this button. And I have this nickel colored button that I'm going to glue right there at her waistline. There, I'm get, getting close to completion of this particular puzzle piece. I've done two for Ashley at Paper and Twine. She's putting together two puzzles, and I chose to take a piece in each puzzle, or she allowed me to take a piece in each puzzle. I am going to finish this off by taking some black gesso and just going along the outside edge of this to frame it in. And I will write everything I used on a sheet of paper with the puzzle number that Ashley assigned it and glue that to the back. This is a charcoal pencil, just a Stabilo All pencil. And I'm going around her arms and legs and giving her just a little bit of Shadow, and that completes my second puzzle piece for the PT Jig Collab. Hop over to Paper and Twine as she collects these pieces in. She's sharing them, and once she receives them all, she'll be putting the puzzle piece puzzle back together, and you will see all of the puzzle pieces in one collaborative piece of art. So thank you very much for joining me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe, if you will. The likes obviously help me, and I love to hear your comments. Bye for now.